Last time on Strip Search. Welcome everybody to the Strip Search Graffiti Bunker. I've never really used spray paint. You don't work small details. Our, our piece was all about line work. I thought ours looked really great. Is that meant to be pineapple Maki? We felt that one team really excelled. That pineapple was bitchin'. Maki's team. This afternoon, we have a very important challenge for you. Web comics as a career is a dream job and a labor of love, but it doesn't always pay the bills. Often, artists supplement their income by doing work for hire for companies. Right before the challenge, I had been talking to Tavis about how uh, I wanted to get into doing this exact kind of thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, work for hire most likely means I gotta bust out some artwork. Well today, a local company with a rich history of artistic collaboration is giving you the opportunity to work for them. Please join me in welcoming Mike Gills, marketing manager, and Elaine Chase, brand director for Magic the Gathering. I'm literally shaking, like I could feel my knees just really just kind of losing their stuff. I have a lot of love and respect for that game and the designers of that game. I pretty much shit my pants right there because my brother plays Magic and a bunch of other people I know play Magic and I don't play Magic. <laughs> While I don't play Magic, I love the card artwork. Hello everyone, welcome to your next challenge. Uh, my name's Elaine Chase, I'm the brand director for Magic the Gathering at Wizards of the Coast, and we have come to hire you today to inject your personal artistic style into our rich history and IP. I've always thought it would be really cool to see those cards done in my style, in like a cartoony style. So Magic the Gathering started as a trading card game. It was introduced in 1993. It was the first trading card game ever released. Magic Today, nearly 20 years later, is a franchise that is much more than a trading card game. Most importantly though, we are Hasbro's number one game brand. So if you think about that, the impact for a minute there, Hasbro is the world's biggest board game manufacturer. We are the biggest game brand that they have. It's a big deal and I'm really excited and really intimidated, like mostly intimidated. There are four things that makes magic magic. First off is our planeswalkers. They're our main characters. Our planeswalkers are powerful mages. So what do they do? They cast spells because it is magic. So, I'd like to introduce you to one of our Planeswalker characters. This is Chandra Nalar. Uh, as you might guess, she is a red mage. She's a pyromancer. She is the face of our upcoming campaign for this summer, when we release uh, the Magic 2014 sets. Our tagline for this campaign is Ignite Your Spark. So, you ready for your challenge? Yeah. All right. We are partnering this summer with the Vans Warp Tour. We are a sponsor. Uh, one of the promotional things that we're going to be doing is giving away a skateboard deck promotionally at the Vans Warp Tour. So your challenge is to design a skateboard deck for the Magic 2014 campaign, focusing on our tagline of Ignite Your Spark and our main character of Chandra Nalar. I very much want you to infuse your own style to the Magic the Gathering IP and give us your take on Chandra and let people ignite their sparks. We will be giving each of you one of these magic bags. Inside is the style guide for Magic 2014, sample art for Chandra Nalar, and samples of our Match at the Gathering product. This is the exact type of materials that we give anyone that works with us for creative design, and this will give you all the materials you need for the challenge. That's insanely awesome. I'm very excited to, uh, to dig into that. You will have 90 minutes. Go ahead. Well, I brought a whole bunch of paints, and even though I haven't painted since uh, switching to digital illustration, a few years ago, uh, I'm just going to go for it. I figured, why not? I had painted for years and years and years before. Took a break. Let's see how I do. 
I just kind of went to my own corner and I spread everything out and I just uh, started looking at what the branding information was, what their parameters were, what the uh, pictures of the character looked like and I just wanted to make sure that I had a really good idea of the character in the company before I got started on um, any of my initial sketches. It's all, you know, like super realistic -y, fantasy, super rendered digital painting style. And I mean, <laughs> I do not do that. But they, because it's for a skateboard deck, they're not looking for their typical on the card style. I'm feeling pretty mediocre, to be perfectly honest, compared to everyone else at this point. Uh, when the time starts, I know I want to do some quick thumbnails. I want to get my characters roughed out. Uh, I want to just pick a strong pose. Having some experience now, working in a crunch time frame like that, uh, I know that getting, I'm going to need to be on color by the time we reach 30 minutes if I want to finish. I was interested in kind of highlighting some of the background elements in uh, that were in kind of the pamphlet. There was lots of kind of like being surrounded by uh, this the, the fire element, kind of turning the fire element into a design pattern that kind of wrapped around the board um, and kind of minimizing uh, the character. Uh, when knowing I was going to come here and that we needed to bring some kind of like entertainment or non-digital uh, entertainment that can't connect to the internet, like I was totally thinking about uh, bringing our cube down here, uh, our, our magic cube. Even if there's just me and one other person, like magic has that way of just, you know. I haven't played magic since middle school, but I always enjoyed it and I remember having a very like strong connection to the art on the cards at the time. I purposely wanted to do a, a, a representation of that character that would play up her being in action. Don't get me wrong, uh, I totally love sexy pinups. I am all about them. But I do get a little bit tired of that being the only way female characters are represented. And again, I love sexualized images. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not like no funsies over here. One hour. You have one hour remaining. I started to struggle, like, my nerves kind of caught up with me. The more I sketched, the more it wasn't working the way I felt like it was. It didn't have the feeling that I wanted to have. I could keep forcing this drawing and trying to make it work, or I could scrap it with an hour to go and start anew. I was instantly happy as soon as I did it. I was like, I was a little worried, but as soon as I got the flow going, I was like, okay, that was the right thing to do. I'm glad I made that call. I brought a shitload of markers, um, like almost my entire collection of markers, and uh, I was letting um, Abby and Nick borrow some. She's a saint for that. Like she totally could just have said no, and I and I would have had to been okay with that. The style I used was actually not something I use outside of my sketchbook so far. I don't want to seem overconfident and like haughty and be like, oh, I work in so many different styles, but like I can do super realistic and also like ridiculously cartoony and I have a bunch of different steps in between that I've been practicing for years. I don't draw with markers very often, if ever. Probably my only chance of doing okay was to be more um, like conceptual or layout based. Thirty minutes, half an hour left. I was I, I was panicking. I was just trying to get it done as fast as I could. Uh, got a couple sketches done. Thirty minute mark hit, and I just said I got to start painting this because that's not going to be an easy thing. Fifteen minutes.
Um, I took into account how it would look on the actual skateboard because the ends of the skateboard kind of flip up. So I wanted both ends of the skateboard to have like flames like licking up from the bottom. Five minutes. Final five minutes. What's, can I ask you guys a question? What's the, the slogan? I was just trying to remember, Ignite. Time, that is time. In 90 minutes, these guys did some cool stuff. <laughs> I have to say, straight off, I am super impressed at how much they got done in 90 minutes. Wow, where'd it start? So it looks like <laughs> a lot of them did their different takes on, on portraits of, of her, uh, both from sort of more realistic style to some very, very stylized versions, which is interesting, is if, if they were famous web cartoonists or, or web comics, we might want to work specifically with their style. Um, there are a couple interesting chins going on here, for sure. This one is a... Uh, this one ends up looking male. Super, it, yeah, she has, she has a manly kind of cast there with how square the jaw is. It's obviously Tavis' particular style, which again, if we were hiring someone for their style, but I think the fact that it ends up looking male yeah. is probably the, the, the biggest point against. Yeah. We want people when they're doing this to say, who's this interesting female yeah. character that I want to learn more um, about? Um, I have to say, I like uh, I like how Erica did this Different. nice close-up of her face, like coming straight, coming straight at you like that. I think Erica did an awesome job of really capturing Chandra's spunkiness. And it's, a, it's a very clean graphic treatment yeah. too. Yep. Uh, so for putting it on something like a skateboard or if it was put on a t-shirt or whatever, it, it would, would read really clean. It would translate really clean. I do like this one because it feels sort of edgy in its roughness, mm -hmm. but I think that again, on something like a skateboard deck specifically, people are looking for sort of that cleaner design. As mentioned before, the couple weird jaw, this is the other weird jaw, it's very super pointy there. Um, again, the facial features here come across a little more manly. Monica's got a really nice um, coloring to it, and I, I like the way the design, how she kind of took the color palette of the design and and you know, did this radiant thing on the back, which fits very much in a skateboard kind of style. Like that's yes. the kind of thing that fits right on a skateboard. And it looks like she's got um, uh, an example of what she would want the opposite side of it to look like, which right. is actually pretty cool. I think she's the only one who actually did a kind of a full, you know, kind of light the thing on fire on the back, which is pretty awesome. So this one, I love that we, we saw a different type of idea uh, with the gathering the spark and, and sort of this full plateau instead of just a portrait, but we actually don't really see close up his, his take on, on the key character. We don't, but honestly, that's okay, right? We, we didn't specify that we needed a close up on the character. A we absolutely. We didn't specify that we need that. I, I do have to say that given the fact that how much coloring everybody else was able to do, um, I'm a little disappointed that Mac didn't get a chance to actually, you know, infuse this with color. When I was so. actually looking, I had no idea what I was going to see I in the end. I? <laughs> I kept, it looked like a, a necktie or something. It I couldn't. It took a while to figure it out. I, I agree. I, I'm definitely impressed with the folks who took the color cues and the style guides that we gave them very seriously. Right. I mean, it's kind of hard to get Chandra wrong with the, the you know, the red fire and stuff, but um, a number went through and, and got the, the nice, the deep blue backgrounds. Okay. I think we got a winner. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Mike. Hello. Hi. So how was that? Uh, it was a tough decision, I have to say. Um, I was really impressed with the quality of work you guys were able to turn out in 90 minutes. Um, I have to say, each and every one of you uh, did a really fabulous job and, and got an awful lot in in that amount of time. So great job, all of you. You should all be very proud. Um, so that said, uh, I wanted to call out a couple different pieces and make some comments on them. I'm not going to touch on everybody's, but there's a, a couple of key pieces that I wanted to, to kind of just give some feedback on. This is Katie's. Uh, it's certainly very stylistic. She is super cute. And uh, while we did come to you and say, hey, we want your style infused into this, the one thing I'll say on this one is that um, in terms of where we are as a company, we're part of the Hasbro family um, and uh, trying to you know get there. Um, she's just coming across as a little bit too sexy. There's a little bit too much leg in there, right? That kind of thing. So that's the kind of feedback I'd come back with. Um, I agree with um, the thing that she might have been a little too sexy. I, I really wanted to do a more badass pose. I want to talk about Max. Um, so Mac, it's the one that didn't get to any color. Um, I have to say, while I was walking around looking at the progress that everybody was making, I was at a loss for the longest time on where you're going because you're doing so many different sketches to try to figure out where you were. The one thing I think is lacking in this one is really understanding the character of Chandra. It's a cool far away shot, but to be able to get that impact, um, you know, being able to understand the character, I think we'd like to see a little bit more of a close up on, on her herself. So. I think that their criticism was uh, was legitimate. The drawing I could get out of the markers was not uh, 
up to what I hoped it could be. I, I think the best way to, to put it would be that it was exactly what I was expecting it to be, but maybe not in a good way. Okay, next one I want to talk about is Nick. He did a really great job with getting that, you know, that nice bright blue on the color palette in there. Um, I like how you influenced the, um, the planeswalker symbol in there. It's a really nice touch. Um, this is angry Chandra. Like, she's going to kick some ass. Like, it's really clear that she's there. The thing about her is that she's a little bit more spontaneous, a little more snarky, a little bit more of a, you know, kind of having fun while she does stuff. Partly my knowledge of magic kind of worked against me here a little bit. I know red is that color of fire and passion and anger and rage, and like, that's kind of came forefront. So I, I went with angry Chandra. I think to really capture her essence, I would have wanted to see her just a, a little bit more kind of spunky. And then the one last comment I have on it is that planeswalker symbol while it's awesome there it's kind of placed like right yeah <laughs> so as soon as i laid that planeswalker symbol down as i i sketch it and as soon as i inked it i had, i knew it was in the, a, a bad place this next one is uh maki you nailed her personality her face look expression is absolutely fantastic it is just flat out gorgeous i was floored i wasn't happy with it what I handed in, but I'm glad it, I'm glad that they loved it. I also love the amount of kind of painterly detail you put in there, like the what you've got going on in terms of her armor and everything in there is really great. Um, and that touch of her igniting the planeswalker symbol like that is just a really awesome action, right? Like that, I think the action on this really nails it. Um, this was a really, really close call for me. You were so close to winning this thing. The thing that pulled back from it is the fact that you just didn't use the color palette that we gave you for the campaign. I can't believe I forgot about the color palette. Your design is awesome. The artistic element of it is awesome. The character is awesome. The position, everything is awesome. You just missed the color palette. Oh, I was kicking myself. And the last one I want to talk about is our actual selected winner for the campaign. Um, I have to say again, all of you did a really great job, but in terms of taking the task as it was assigned and translating that character of Chandra and that idea of Ignite Your Spark on something that would really work on a skateboard deck, um, there's one that we came to uh, that executed the best, and that is Erica. What? Oh my god! I thought either I'd be middle of the pack and forgettable, or maybe I might be the worst, because, dude, have you seen the art these people can draw? <laughs> Erica, I tell you, she's got, uh, you've got the, the smirk down, it's just right there, you've got the color palette going on, the fact that you chose to do this close-up on her, she's just in your face, like you know what she's all about, she's coming right at you. Um, and then add on top of that, uh, kind of the layout and how this fits on a skateboard deck. It fits with the design parameters of the task as given. Uh, really fantastic job. It never even occurred to me that I could possibly win that one. Thank you so much, Mike and Elaine. It was a pleasure having you here, and I think this was a really beneficial exercise for everyone to learn what, what uh, doing work for hire can be. It was a great experience for us. Thank you very much, everybody, Thank for you, everyone. your take You're on, all on very our talented. brand. Yeah, it was a really hard choice. You guys all did a really great job. So, uh, good luck in the rest of the competition. Congratulations, Erica. Really good job. You know what this means by now, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Today, it's on you to choose the two contestants that will be facing elimination tonight. Take some time to think about it. Oh, god damn it, right? They're all bitchin'. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to choose. Yeah. That's just gorgeous. I wish I would've won. Um, no matter how much I dread picking people, I'm here to try to win every challenge. Those stream with markers is no joke. I'm really happy for Erica. Uh, out of all of us, I feel like she was the most nervous. I originally was just thinking I was gonna do it in black and white and then be like, I would have colored it digitally. But then I was like, I bet they would ding me for points if I didn't incorporate some colors. So. I'm so glad you jumped in. I was really glad not to be singled out at all. I, I honestly haven't really figured out how I'm gonna figure this out yet. Next time on Strip Search. I think Erica's just going to have to look back. Here's hoping she picks someone that they mentioned. I would expect that I would be put up for elimination. I'm hoping that if I'm nice, people will maybe not eliminate me, but so far I don't think that's working. Who's the first of the two people that you're going to be sending up for elimination tonight? Okay. I have decided to pick... Good luck. I have a feeling you'll need it. <laughs>